All right, so will Chinese New Year affect your Shopify dropshipping business? For those of you guys that don't know me, my name is Juan Valdez, and if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the VFAM. The VFAM is a community and a movement of people that are striving to do a lot more than what society has offered us to do. So to kind of jump right into it, there's been a lot of back and forth, a lot of different people's takes on, you know, the Chinese New Year and kind of how it will affect, you know, obviously your Shopify dropshipping business. The reason why, obviously it's a, something to be aware of is because us dropshippers get all of our products from AliExpress. All the suppliers on AliExpress are obviously, you know, in China, and obviously they're gonna be taking a break around the Chinese a Chinese holiday but it isn't something that you know it's like super crazy and you can't work around so you know I kind of I pulled up this article actually from oberlo.com for those of you guys that don't know oberlo.com or the oberlo app uh, they're actually it's actually one of the best apps for Shopify drop shipping it makes really makes it a lot easier for you to get your products from AliExpress and put them onto your Shopify store right the import process makes it a lot easier than you having to do it you know like the old school method so if you guys aren't using Oberlo make sure you take advantage of it so I got this article right from their website you guys can actually look it up yourselves as well it's actually right on there and it kind of get broke down a little bit about the truth behind the Chinese holiday and how you can prepare and work around it so I thought I'd pull the article up kind of go through with you guys and also you know kind of give you guys my take on how I'm I'm planning on you know go working around the holiday so to kind of get started there's been some rumors talking about how you know the Chinese holiday and Chinese New Year is supposed to be like three months long that's actually not accurate um, based on you know Oberl. they came in contact with the suppliers and what's actually going on is you know Chinese holiday and Chinese New Year is not three months long it's actually a week long and at most two weeks long a majority of all the suppliers you know they'll be taking their week long obviously it's a it's a holiday for them so obviously we have to respect that but there's nothing to really be worried about you can obviously work around it so that was the first thing i kind of wanted to touch on so one of the ways you can easily you know prepare for the chinese new year right everybody's supplier is going to be different every single supplier you know is obviously going to work around a different time frame they're going to start their new years at a different date than the other or they might all start at the same time regardless what you guys want to do is for your supplier for your product what you want to do is just reach out to them beforehand right so if you know that chinese new year it's supposed to be on February 16th, right? I would start reaching out to them now. That's actually what I'm planning on doing this week. I'm gonna be reaching out to all my suppliers just so we can be on the exact same page, right? You guys can do the same thing. You wanna make sure you're reaching out to your supplier just to find out you know, what exact dates they're gonna be gone for. What are the time frames you can expect for the deliveries of your products, right? You wanna plan ahead of time and find out. That way when it comes down to it, you know, if you're getting emails from your customers, you know, you're getting requests, you're, you're getting a lot of inquiries on orders and all these different things, you're prepared for it. Now it's a lot easier to be prepared for it if you already have the you know obviously the data right from not the data but if you actually have the facts from your suppliers right because who else can tell you better than they can we got pluto hopping in for the conversation talking about all right pluto we're talking about the chinese new year say hello to everyone pluto <laughs> yeah he's actually like super excited we just got back from recording at ty's place so i'm going to try to put him back here he just gets a little bit out of control when we lock him up in the cage because he wants to be out the whole time but yeah to kind of keep going when it comes down to it you know orders are just supposed to be backed up you know two or three weeks it's normal obviously if they're not they're going to be out for a week of course you know it's going to take them that week to obviously the week the orders for that week they're obviously not going to go through as they usually do and it'll probably take them a few days after they get back to kind of get the ball rolling and keep things you know get things back up to how they were before no big deal it happens we you know we obviously we had our new year's our holidays and obviously we took time off so it's nothing wrong with giving them you know having them take their time off it's a tradition family tradition and we can do nothing but respect it basically nothing's a big deal unless you make it a big deal right so uh, if you're looking at this as like oh my god no it's gonna mess up my business like you know just work around it you can still you know everything can still work out there's no need to freak out about it so the next part after that you don't have to shut down your store when it comes down to the chinese new year reason why is because again there's just because your orders are going to be a little delayed doesn't mean you should stop you know promoting your products doesn't mean you should stop bringing in customers and stop your whole operation why would you stop your operation just because of a little hiccup you know you want to keep your business and operation you know obviously active is because if you decide to shut down your business your store while the chinese new year is going around is happening you know and you have customers coming back to visit the store that either made orders before or around the time frame and they see your store shut down obviously that's going to potentially it could raise a red flag right they're going to be like I, I just bought a product from the store we actually have pluto here he's crying so i'm going to whip him out here for you guys i'm going to keep him out with me so all right pluto stay right there what that can do is obviously it can it can raise a red flag it can make it so that 
Obviously, a customer doesn't have the same trust because obviously if they bought something from your store and then the next day or a few days after they go back into your store and it's not even active, obviously they might, you know, might raise some concerns. So you want to make sure you keep everything fully operational. You know, you can keep everything just as it's going. One of the things you want to make sure you do also is you stay in contact with your customers through emails and social media. So obviously when customers want to know what their order is and things like that, obviously they're going to send in emails and email inquiries, right? They're going to want to know what's going on with their order. Uh, what status updates and all that stuff. Next, uh, what they're gonna do is they're probably gonna go after emailing and in, asking for different inquiries, they're probably gonna go on social media to check what's going on there. So you wanna make sure using, you're staying active on both email and social media, that way you're letting your customers know like, you know, hey, we're, we're still active, it's just we're being, you know, we're a little bit delayed. One of the things you can do, if you have really upset customers that are like, you know, really reaching out, they're really upset because of the delay, you know, one of the things, work with them, right? So if obviously they're reaching out numerous times and then, you know, really upset with you, because you didn't let them know for any reason, one of the things you can do is you can offer them a discount, right? You can offer, send them a coupon like, hey, sorry for the delay, I wanna give you guys this coupon for any future purchases that you may, you know, you may have in our store. So obviously, you wanna make sure you're always, you know, trying to provide the most value to your customer, and obviously, you know, it is a little bit of a hiccup to not be able to deliver the products on time or even, you know, have, or even have the delay. So again, you wanna make sure that you're letting your customers know up front like, hey, you know, it's gonna be a little bit of delay, but because of the delay, I actually wanted to give you guys this discount code or coupon that you can actually use for your future references or future purchases. So that's one thing that we're planning on implementing into our business. We're gonna start setting up the emails for it. So in case anybody reaches out, you know, we send that out and, you know, hopefully, you know, it solves everything. But, you know, before when I first got started in e-commerce and drop shipping, you know, we had somewhat of like the opposite problem, right? We had the problem where we were getting so many orders and actually we couldn't even get enough uh, products and suppliers to um, actually fulfill all the orders. So what we had to do is actually email all of our customers, letting them know like, hey, you know, due to high demand, your orders are actually gonna be delayed between a, a week or maybe a few days, right? But again, because we let them know ahead of time, you know, it brought down the amount of inquiries we were getting, it brought down the amount of complaints. And one of the reasons you guys wanna make sure you're staying on top of, you know, communicating with your customers, which is one of the biggest things, is because again, if you don't, they'll start posting all over social media, like negative comments, they'll start posting on your ads, negative comments, and of course you don't want that. They'd much rather have you let them know ahead of time that there's gonna be a delay than have to find out the hard way and have you not, you know, not there for any type of response, right? So make sure you guys are doing that. One thing you guys can do is definitely slow down or reduce the budgets on your ads. That's actually what we did when we had that problem where we had more orders and products that you were able to get. We just slowed down our ads. Now you don't have to completely, you know, pause your campaigns, but I would just, you know, decrease the budget. So if you're spending $100 a day, you can bring it down to $50, you know? It's never a bad problem to have all these orders coming in. So I would still, you know, take all the orders that are gonna come in, just make sure you prep for them, obviously, correctly by staying in communication with your customers and, you know, it should be fine. We wanna keep the ball rolling here. Obviously, keep the sales coming and keep business going. And biggest tip, if there's any one tip you guys can take from this video is to, you know, stay in communication with your customers. Let them know ahead of time at what's going on. That would probably be the biggest thing. Communication is key when it comes to your customers, your business, and everything, and your whole operation. So, you know, make sure you guys are keeping that good communication. I made a video, one of my previous videos. I can actually attach a link to it somewhere at the top. Uh, one of the previous videos of how you can get faster shipping, you guys can actually check out to see if you can get the same product that you're already selling with one uh, with a US supplier from AliExpress. If you can do that, then you're in for a good treat because you'll be able to still keep business going. Now, the only thing about US suppliers is that they may not have the same exact products you were selling, you know, with the obviously with the Chinese suppliers, it may be different products, but if you can find, you know, the products you were selling, then you're in for a treat. I hope you guys got value from this video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up. Also, leave me some feedback. Let me know what you guys are planning on doing, you know, for the Chinese New Year or what your experience has been with other Chinese New Year's or any, you know, any type of, any other, uh, you know, events like these where there's going to be a delay in either the orders or, you know, fulfillment or whatever the case may be. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the VFAM, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.